Welcome to the next episode of Twin Talk, where we discuss relevant gaming news and other things related to gamer geek culture. Today we're going to be covering the video game crash of 1983. Time, the industry was worth about three billion dollars which is actually pretty significant for uh, the industry at the time uh, basically the arcades were booming and it was about the birth of the home video game console now Atari took the lead of the home video game console race with the Atari 2600 bringing arcade classics like Space Invaders Pac-Man Asteroids and Frogger now, what could have possibly brought this empire down? I mean, it's a booming industry. What the heck happened to cause the gaming crash of 1983? Now, basically, it all came down to who could make games for what consoles. And the problem with that was there were no restrictions at all. Okay. Now, people who wanted to make a quick buck, okay, they started small companies, okay, where they would make these games, didn't matter how good they were, okay, people, everybody has these consoles, and they're all looking to buy games, okay? Now, eventually, as all these bad games are coming out and just, you know, all over the place, uh, it's hard to tell what games are good and what games are bad. People end up buying bad games, okay? They're terrible. Who the heck... Who the heck wants those? You know, they're, they're horrible. They're not fun. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so basically, without the licensing uh, restrictions on making games, as all these games are getting are all worse and worse and worse, as they don't sell, the price drops. Okay? And when it comes to buying a full-priced game for like from Atari itself or Activision, a bigger company, uh, people are going to be like, no, I'm just going to buy three smaller games. Why not? I get more for my money. Okay, these games are bad, they lose trust from the consumers, uh, just Andrew up with poor, poor sales. Yeah, uh, yeah, the sales just end up dropping entirely. <laughs> now, a movie of the decade of the 80s, of course, E.T. Now, this movie sold like hotcakes, everyone... Everyone loved it, and Atari went and acquired the exclusive licensing to produce the official E.T. video game. And due to the timing of the release, there was only about five weeks for Howard Warshaw to create the game. So they made four million copies of the E.T. Atari 2600 game. Okay, 3.5 million of those copies were returned to Atari unsold. The game was literally that bad, totally unrelated to the uh, storyline. Um, they had Reese's Pieces where you'd have to go around and, like, collect. Like, I guess because Reese's was in the movie, whatever. Uh, also, you collect pieces of a telephone so you could literally phone home. E.T. Home phone. So, anyway, soon Did you after... Watch the movie? I don't even know. Honestly, I, I probably not. Uh, he had with the five weeks he had to make the game. I'm guessing he just rolled with. Like, I don't blame the too much for the five weeks. Yeesh. Soon after, it was reported by a local newspaper from Alamogordo, New Mexico, that a convoy of semi trucks from Atari were headed to a dump where stuff was dropped off to be crushed, encased in cement, and buried, never to see the light of day again. And so the legend was born. Now this stuff was thought to be piles of the unsold Atari 2600 ET cartridges and consoles that went unsold. Now, on May of last year, so 2013, uh, an esc the excavation of the site was authorized for the filming of a movie called Angry Video Game Nerd The Movie. Uh, I don't particularly know anything about this movie. Uh, I'm probably going to have to look this up now just to see what's all going on, but I guess that's why they're doing the dig. Okay, and... Um, Basically, we're at the part where they start digging. Yes, they've started digging, and now they're releasing pictures of what was actually disposed of by Atari. Now, it's safe to say, yes, E.T. was indeed buried in that uh, dump in New Mexico. Uh, they found all sorts of E.T. cartridges. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them intact, still. Uh, there's all sorts of other games, too. Yeah, there's uh, plenty of other games, like Raiders of the Lost Ark... Yeah, I saw copies of uh, Missile Command. I don't see my Missile copy of Missile Command, Command up here. Oh, um, 
but they had like Missile Command, all sorts of other games as well, and also consoles that pretty much went unsold. It was the gaming crash of 83. Uh, they have a lot of unsold stuff. Anyway, so currently the industry is worth about $21 billion. Okay, I think it's safe to say the industry has recovered. Yes, well. it has recovered. So, uh, basically, thanks to Nintendo, uh, they released their NES system where people could play Super Mario Brothers, which was like, you know, that was big. Everybody loves Super Mario Well, that Super was a Mario quality Brothers. game, and everyone still plays it today. A little, little jumpy platform, a little... Pla ah, you f Why do they do that? Now, if you were alive during the video game crash of 1983, please let us know down in the comments please below. Do. If you have personal experience, you know, anything that, uh, you know, from... Someone who actually experienced it. You know, I don't know what the industry was like. We were born in the 90s. Um, also, if you guys want to play E.T., the extraterrestrial Atari 2600 game, I put a link in the description to a website where you can actually play it. So, if you like the video, do us a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We do this show weekly just for you. Um, we're trying a new format. Tell us what you think. Yes, let us know what you think. Uh, we have, you know, multiple cameras. We got some lighting. It's a lot nicer than we used to be. Um, also, uh, after this, we're gonna give you. Some, we're gonna show a little slideshow of the pictures that are coming out That's of New Mexico time. right now. You know, so you guys get to see what's going on, what's coming out of the ground, so you can actually see the consoles, the ET cartridges, all the fun stuff. Enjoy. Just, it, hey, uh, 